I can still see their angry faces as they stormed the manor. But I was dead before they found me. And the letter was on its way. So we have the tavern and the abbey, which are useful for reducing stress of heroes. As you can see, we're pretty stressed already here. And so we're going to have to be spending money to reduce that in order for them to get into fighting shape. We could also just abandon these people and never use them again, And but they would take up room in our barracks. Uh, sadly, Unremarkable has met his end. We can even pay respects to him at the graveyard. Most will end up here, covered in the poisoned earth, awaiting merciful oblivion. So here, I the need have been to pray to my the god. I set straight. So because I am God-fearing in to town, I will only pray for my for, for stress relief. Also, I'm prone to stealing stuff from you guys. My bad. Maybe I do that in EQ too. Uh, blind janitor, lockjaw, tetanus. That sucks. Minus 10 accuracy, minus 10 damage. That that is brutal there. But uh, fresh kegs, God-fearing, she can only pray. Rooms, so we'll send Dian to go to pray. The weary and broken alike. Sadly, oh wait, no, that was that was me. She's, oof, that sucks. Both of us are God fearing, which means that oof, that's brutal. So we can do prayer for a thousand. That's fine. So it means that if either of us need to de-stress at the same time, we get kind of screwed. Luckily, we can recruit four new people. To which fight we'll take the all. Abyss, we'll take all of them. One must know it. Another crusader is perfect. Decent enough abilities. Pretty much want smite. Stunning blow is pretty good though. We don't want that. Basically, we want smite, stunning blow on our crusaders. Inspiring cry is not bad. It gives us more torch. It heals uh, people, and you can target stress heal, which is also great. I like holy lance for the repositioning though. <laughs> Mute janitor. <laughs> Here we have a secret occultist. Um. But weird reconstitution is awesome. It's a huge heal chance to bleed out. Chance to bleed for three damage though, so you have to try and heal for at least three. Uh, vulnerability hex is also very good. Um, probably not as good as weakening curse. Uh, Damon's pull, decent. I think hands from the abyss, vulnerability, um, weakening curse, and weird reconstitution are the best on the occultists. Take more damage from the Eldritch. That's interesting. The Occultist, I have not actually played with him too much. Uh, I've never had a bounty hunter either. So he wants to be third last. This guy wants to be last, front, and semi front. Point blank shot, pistol shot, duelist advance. So this guy's going to be basically going to the front most of the time. Alright. Alright, well, let's, let's try for an adventure here. Same adventure as last time. So let us begin. We're gonna our order is gonna be like this then. So come here, they're pull target, which is great against those annoying backline fusiliers. Flash bang. Single target, stun and shuffle. Not bad. Hook and slice. Just a ranged attack. Alright. Less damage, but that's alright. And collect bounty frontline. Uh, and tag the monster, self, monster tagged, plus 100% damage against that, or 100% more damage against him. I think it's more damage, monster tagged. Okay, if the monster is tagged, so you, you mark him for death and then you collect the bounty off him. That makes sense. Cool. Alright, so he, he he's kind of like a combo finisher then. So he's the yips, makes less accuracy, which sucks, and obsessed with sainthood. Interesting. Gotta name, gotta name these guys. Stab face is going to be Muhammad. Stab face said he wanted to be Muhammad. C. Goodman is going to be the bounty hunter. Oh. Boom. I don't know, man. Unremarkable V2 is not too, too bad here. You're not gonna die, man. You're fine. You guys got this. So just because I let Unremarkable bite the dust doesn't mean I'll let you guys bite the dust. I'll even provision you guys up the wazoo here. Yes! 
<laughs> McRiggins, dude, thank you for the follow, man. One shovel, because I'm going to be stingy. But uh, we're also going to get some anti-venom and some bandages here. Anti-venom, probably not as useful just because of um, being in the ruins. You don't usually run into blight characters except for the spiders. But it's also useful for traps. Bandages, because... There's tons of bleed effects, and um, we don't have someone who can heal bleeds per se. So, unlike last time we had the Plague Doctor, which could do it. So, <laughs> really, we just want to get this first quest done. I should have made Mick Riggins my, uh, my, my highwayman. The fiends must be driven back. And what better place to begin I like than the how seat it's of changed. our noble line? <sighs> And we surprised them this time, interesting. Finally, we're getting some luck in our favor. So I think here, I would like to do come hither on this fuselier. And he dodged a rip. This artillery is awesome. And we also have a pull. We have a lot of pull on this guy. We really want this fuselier to come up, so let's get him to the front line, man. Don't dodge. Now we should be able to finish this guy and deal damage using the uh, Zealous, uh, Zealous Accusation, so there we go. Very good surprise round so far. Now we can't pull him any further now, but we're going to try and keep him stunned instead. And if he does shuffle, he's going to shuffle to the front, so I think Flash Ring is our best bet. We really don't want him to do a blank shot on us. Perfect. Couldn't have asked for a better stun in movement. So basically I want to constantly get him into range of uh, point blank shot. Uh, I'm going to dual advance on uh, this cutthroat because point blank shot has a good chance of actually one shotting that guy there. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Boom. And hey, if he's marked dude, that's actually, you know what, it worked out really well because now we have marking. And we also have uh, a way to mark and a way to activate that collect bounty. <laughs> right, all we can do is mark him again. Hopefully he doesn't get a blanket shot off. But we should be able to finish him off at the, the close range. Falls, Perfect. A faint hope blossoms. Alright, so I could not have asked for that combat to go any better than what it did. Let's continue on our venture in. Looks like our unnamed Brettel is uh, gonna get stabbed. So, our occultist, fear of the unholy, sainthood, flagellant, and fragile. Oof, fragile sucks. Fear of beasts. Interesting. All right. Well, I think the occultist would be best at looking at bookshelves in his <laughs> in his search for all things mystical. <sighs> All right, bring it on. None of these are Eldritch. I could artillery them. How much damage does that deal? Three to five, eh? I really want to get the Arbalist and the... Basically, I'm mostly worried about the Cordier. And that's because he deals tons of stress damage. So I'm going to really try and get him up front here if I can. Which is awesome. And then I just want to lay into him. Now we're dealing unholy smite damage. If we hit, this guy should hopefully go down. Boom. That, that reduces a lot of stress that we could initially take. Now I'm going to get this Arbalist in the front if I can. This is a full two as well. Not a lot of damage, but we want this Arbalist basically unable to shoot his crossbow and have to use his bayonet. There we go. So we have a lot of repositioning, and now we can just point blank shot him. Boom! That was an amazing start to this combat. This is a really strong team combination, actually. Alright, let's uh, start marking people. Let's mark up the defender, because he has more hit points. It means we're going to have more, more chances to use the marked target. And we even crit. Hey, man. I'll take it. Now, if we collect bounty, he's going to deal an extra 100% damage to this guy. <laughs> 40 damage crit! <laughs> what the hell, man? 
This is going amazing. All right, so we'll duel advance up mostly because we can't bleed targets. Executed with impunity. <laughs> oh, we got a strong box, medicinal herbs, which is great. Whew. I'll take it, man.